I'll tell you what, then, because well, obviously we, the, the stuff about the royal family and all the, the, the concern we've heard about for days and days mm. and days, what about everything else? What's interesting to me is getting a sense of what it was like for Harry growing up as a member of the royal family. And the reason I'm saying that is we're getting just a little kind of interesting details about uh, his relatives. So, for example, he talks about going on uh, barbecues at Balmoral with his family and that the late Queen, her speciality was making the salad dressing, which I'd never heard before. We'd heard before that Philip was a dab hand at the barbecue. Um, but the fact that the Queen was also willing to muck in, I thought, was a great story. He also quite emotionally actually talks about uh, the aftermath of his mother Princess Diana's death and the fact that both him and his brother William received a lock of hair of Diana's from Diana's sister, their, their aunt, who, who, who clipped it off following Diana's death and presented it to them in little blue boxes um, before the funeral for them to keep forever, which I thought was a really deeply touching and, and personal, um, you know, thoughts from Prince Harry to share with the world. But I suppose one of the issues with that is he also said that the same thing happened to William. So something which his brother, the now Prince of Wales, would have perhaps wanted to remain private and personal to him, something between him and his mother, uh, is now been shared with the world. Yeah. I mean, do, do we... We always knew Harry as a lovable rogue. Things have gone sour, obviously. But do we... Do we get a sense of the... Especially from these early pages as well, do we get a sense of the Harry that we used to know? Yeah, but certainly the sense of the naughty Harry. He, there's a lot of talk and, and description of rule-breaking when he was at Eton and at, and at Love, Lovegrove as well. He talks about... He claims that him and his schoolmates at Eton smoked cannabis in, in the bathrooms and in his dormitory, something which horrified Prince William when he found out. He also talks about going um, to Africa on one summer holiday during, <coughs> during, during the Eton break, with his, with his, um, during the summer break even, with his brother and, and a few friends and how he loved um, the kind of tranquility. He didn't say that word, but that's what he was thinking about with the campfire. He loved being in Africa. And the fact he, in his words, was almost perhaps mauled by a leopard, he talks about, when one decided to wander into his camp. And he, and he, he describes how the people around him were worried that the headline would, would be Prince nearly mauled by a leopard. So it's just all these little details I'm guessing from his childhood and as a teenager as well.